Hi, Eric from CampNav here. In today's q and I'm going to answer the question, will I still get alerts if there's a natural disaster? Now, this is a bit of a sensitive topic, but before I get into that, I want to explain what CampNav does, because it's quite simple and I think you'll see the limitations of it. Effectively, all our system does is look at booking systems and check on whether campsites have switched from reserved to available. That's all it's doing. And because we scan so many different parks and campgrounds, it's effectively impossible for us to know all of the specific things going on at each of those parks and all of their policies and, and all of these different things that come up. We're a two-person operation. There are limits to what we can do. The first time this question came up was about three or four years ago. A member noted that she'd received multiple alerts for availabilities at a park that was on fire. This was during a set of wildfires a couple of years ago. And she felt that it was in very poor taste for us to be sending these alerts for campsites that she certainly couldn't use, but also that seemed kind of awful given that the park was experiencing wildfires. And we fully agreed with her. We totally understood why this felt just kind of gross. But at the same time, it's very difficult for us to just en masse turn off these alerts. And the reason why is that people can be scanning for very different dates. If there is, for example, a natural disaster occurring at one park immediately, that may affect camping in the park for a month or two to come, but that could be completely different in eight months time. And practically, we do have members who are scanning pretty much year round looking for availabilities. So we can't really en masse turn off scanning for a park if it might affect member scans for the future that may not be impacted by the natural disaster. Now I know this is kind of not an optimal scenario. It would be much better if we could get way more granular with this. But again, there are just limitations with what our system does and how small of a company we are. Like we are literally two guys working on this thing. That's it. If you're scanning for availabilities at a park and something horrible happens, visit your scans page on CampNav and you can pause or delete those scans and then open them up again in the future when the park is back to full operation or the disaster has passed. Or you can, on a plan, just pause and delete those scans and create new scans for other locations that aren't affected by the disaster. It may makes us feel sick to our stomachs when we look in the sky and it's that hazy brown gray of the west coast being on fire which in recent years it seems like it's almost every year that we spend part of July and August looking at that so we totally feel why that's gross and we're trying to do our best but again it's very challenging for us to get super granular with every park and every scan that's running on our system. I hope that makes sense. If you have questions about this or comments put the comments in the comments section below. Visit our website and have a chat with us one-on-one -on -one if you'd like by using the chat tool or kick me an email at howdy at campnav.com and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Please respect fire bans. Please check parks notices before traveling and stay safe. Thank you and happy camping.